We want to make sure that people can discern the truth from the misinformation. And we want to make sure that everyone understands that no one's safe till everyone's safe. No one is 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 safe. Nobody's safe. No one is safe. Nobody is safe. This is a post 9 11 axiom. Safer, but not yet safe. No one is safe. No one is safe. No one is safe. No one is safe from COVID 19 until everyone is safe. If the whole world isn't safe, none of us are safe. No one is safe. No one is safe. Nobody is safe until we're all safe. Health experts have been saying nobody is safe. Nobody is safe until everybody is safe. Nobody is safe. The science is clear. None of us are safe. There is no safety. No one is safe. No one is safe. No one is safe. No one is safe until everyone is safe. No one's safe. Nobody is safe. Nobody's safe. No one's safe. We'll never be safe until we're all safe. We are never going to be safe. 99.5% of people are safe and will survive COVID-19. Uh, the only positive thing out of this is we should be able to manufacture a lot of vaccines and... Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. You don't have a choice. As long as not everybody is vaccinated, nobody, nobody will be safe. safe. Normalcy only returns when we've largely vaccinated the entire global population. So get the fucking vaccine! You need to get vaccinated. And if you don't, you are going to die. I know you're vaccinated. You're the smart ones, but you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. You know who they are. The unvaccinated people. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. If you are the unvaccinated, you are the problem. You're the f- problem. Condemn them, shame them, blame them. The only people that you can blame are the unvaccinated. Frankly, we can't trust the unvaccinated. They should not be part of polite society. The lunatics who won't take COVID vaccines walking around lawfully unvaccinated. That's psychotic. If you're willing to walk among us unvaccinated, you are an enemy. You have no right not to be vaccinated. You don't have the right to contaminate someone. You can't go around pointing a gun in somebody's face, which is what it is when people are unvaccinated. They are all idiots and losers. This is a real movement in this country against the unvaccinated. Jennifer Aniston is cutting non-vaccinated people out of her life. The unrepentant, un- they should be removed from the hospital. Those who refuse to be vaccinated should be denied health care. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're... Some doctors are saying they'll refuse treatment for people who choose not to get the shot. Why are hospital and ICU resources going to them? Morons who will not get the shot. The unvaccinated clowns. Idiots who think that they can do their own research. Don't do any of your own research. Doing your own research is associated with conspiracy theory circles. This go-it-alone approach, doing your own research. That can have serious consequences. You should get prison time for even questioning the vaccines. Can we all stop saying, I need to do my own research? That phrase, do your own research, four words, four little words that are hurting America. Doing your own research hurts America. Everybody has a supercomputer in their hand that empowers them to do their own research. And that's the problem. You must not do your own research. I need to do my own research. I don't understand what that means. I'm doing my own research. You can't do your own research unless you're a scientist. Don't do your own research. Maybe you've told yourself you're playing it safe. You just want to wait and see since this is a new vaccine. No. Grow the f- up and get the vaccine. Unvaccinated people spread the virus. Get the vaccine, you dopes. Don't be a f- Get yourself vaccinated. That's just all there is to it. There's no excuse. No excuse for being unvaccinated. There's no rational and no emotional argument that adds up against getting your damn shot. There just isn't. But you made a conscious decision not to get the vaccine. I also have natural immunity. So for me, personally, this vaccine poses a greater risk than a benefit. I'm also not a risk to any of you. Let's look at the science. So we see that the natural infection is given greater protection or slightly greater protection than vaccination. This is a vaccine that was created to prevent severity of disease and to prevent hospitalizations. But the vaccine does not prevent you from getting COVID and does not prevent you from transmitting COVID. Oh my COVID. goodness. Reality, no, we have that's seen that. not so. Come on. No, it, You've been at Fox TV sure you too long. Have to enjoy. I so just really again, don't think that we again, should allow Sonny, this kind of misinformation. When we poke ya, where well, we know you're gonna be, you're gonna be safe from COVID infecting you. The virus stops with every vaccinated person. Do it so you stop spreading terrible disease. And that vaccine, a key goal is to stop the transmission so that you get almost no, almost no 
uh, infection going on whatsoever. Expectation for vaccines is not to get infected. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. When the virus gets to you, you stop it. You're not going to catch it. You're not going to get sick. You're not going to transmit it. The vaccine is absolutely bulletproof. Vaccines block you from getting and giving the virus. 100% effective at preventing COVID. The vaccine prevents you from getting infected. It is to keep you from getting it and then spreading it. We have the ability to stop COVID in its tracks. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Biden tests positive for COVID-19. When people are vaccinated, they can feel safe that they are not going to get infected. Dr. Fauci tests positive for COVID-19. Vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick. CDC director tests positive for COVID-19. Get your vaccine. Pfizer CEO tests positive for COVID. Pfizer CEO tests positive for COVID again. CDC director tests positive for COVID again. Fauci tests positive for COVID again. Joe Biden and test positive for COVID again. Cases up 258%. The majority of these cases are among the vaccinated. And this area is the most vaccinated part of Massachusetts. So many fully vaccinated people are testing positive. So people here are a bit angry. We are all really concerned about what this means long term. I was vaccinated and I got COVID. And (laughs) almost everyone we know with vaccinations uh, had uh, at least one bout of it. Uh, Our vaccines work better Uh, then we could have possibly uh, hoped they would work. Uh, We are not the problem. The problem are the unvaccinated. The unvaccinated threat. Unvaccinated people are a threat, a direct threat. The threat to all of us. The unvaccinated are a risk to all of us. People have a right to be protected from the unvaccinated. Maybe there should be laws that allow them to be kept out of the building. So at least, thankfully, they're not breathing the same air. Their freedom to breathe will diminish. Start firing the unvaccinated. If you don't vaccinate, you'll be fired. Time to come down on the unvaccinated. They should be banned from the VA, banned from restaurants banned from other businesses and colleges. Companies should not treat us as equals. Place unvaccinated people under arrest. It is the unvaccinated that has put America in the place that it is. We are losing freedom because people are unvaccinated. Anger towards the unvaccinated. I'm furious at the unvaccinated. Frustrated with Americans. Still not vaccinated. Not to be vaccinated seems criminal. Suspects face years behind bars for coughing on police officers. The freedom. For them. Charged with terrorist threats. You have no individual rights when it comes to the vaccine. Really, you're killing other people. We're being attacked by unvaccinated. The unvaccinated who aren't wearing masks. It's the unvaccinated who aren't social distancing. It's the unvaccinated going to crowded indoor events. It is not your right as an American citizen to catch and transmit a potentially fatal infection. So screw your freedom. We can coerce you. You're not going to be able to travel to see your family. If someone in your family isn't vaccinated, should you ask them not to show up? Yes. You really shouldn't have anyone unvaccinated come to dinner. That's just a huge risk. If you want to come out into public, if you want to live your life, you need to get the vaccination. It's time for people to see vaccination as literally necessary. You should have to show that you're vaccinated in order to go places. Unvaccinated tennis player can't travel to the U.S. If you're not vaccinated, you're not welcome. Our patience is wearing thin. Why hasn't the president focused more on scolding the unvaccinated? The refusal has cost all of us. Continued damage the unvaccinated are doing to themselves and the country. How come migrants are allowed to come into this country unvaccinated, but world class tennis players are not. <laughs> you know. And uh, back to our lead story, uh, uh, the pandemic, pandemic of the, of the unvaccinated. unvaccinated. Fact is, this is a pandemic, pandemic of, of the unvaccinated. unvaccinated. Experts call it a pandemic, pandemic of, the of the unvaccinated. unvaccinated. Still a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The disease of the unvaccinated. It is the unvaccinated who are the problem. Period. Period. End, End of story. The unvaccinated also put our economy at risk. This is a tyranny of the unvaccinated right now. The unvaccinated, not the vaccinated, the unvaccinated. That's the problem. That's the pandemic of the unvaccinated. The pandemic, pandemic of, of the, the unvaccinated. unvaccinated. All this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. The only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. Pandemic because of the unvaccinated. When you get the vaccine, you will not die. That's right. That's right. This is a simple, basic proposition. If you're vaccinated, you are not going to die. If you're vaccinated, you don't have a risk. It's as simple as black and white. You are not going to die if you are vaccinated. That's it. Full stop. You're unvaccinated. You're at risk. You're vaccinated. You're safe. A majority of Americans dying from coronavirus are vaccinated. COVID-19 isn't a pandemic of the unvaccinated anymore. We didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's 
a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly, kind of like flu is, although a bit different. We have two Americas, an unvaccinated, at-risk America and a vaccinated America. I wear my vaccinated necklace all the time to say I'm vaccinated. You, the vaccinated, are the last best hope to overcome the unvaccinated minority. I need you to be my apostles. I need you to go out and talk about it. We are seeking to enlist you in a benevolent conspiracy to join in the unfinished war against the sins of the unvaccinated. And it's a war. A forever war. The war against COVID-19. The vaccine hesitancy on Earth, too, has the potential to compromise all of the hard-fought progress that we've made here on Earth One. This is the greatest threat to life that we have ever faced. Metropolitan areas are now banning all private gatherings. This bar owner arrested for reopening illegally. Unvaccinated, we are looking at a winter of severe illness and death. Death, death. death. For yourselves, your families. If the unvaccinated are not to blame, who is? If only we had a vaccine against BS. A vital part of preparing for hurricane season is to get vaccinated now. Everything is more complicated if you're not vaccinated in a hurricane 